The Lowbirds, that's our word, brought to you by our unpaid sponsor, Zomi One Sovereign Tech Podcast, the hottest tech uh, tech tips and the hottest takes on movies, and also our other unofficial sponsor, Delicious Delicious Negro Modelo Cerveza. Remember, when you're at your favorite Mexican eatery, to ask your waiter, Negro, please. And uh, I'm your host, Jim Jesus, and we're here with David Lucart. How you been, man? <laughs> I'm so good, man. So good. Great. I'm this delicious Negro myself. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Always goes down smooth. <sighs> Can't complain. <sighs> Can't complain. So since we're all stuck inside because everybody is uh, drunk on delicious, delicious Negro Modelo from uh, our fine uh, friends over in Ron, Mexico, uh, <laughs> a.k.a. China, uh, this is pretty much everything everybody's talking about is like what to do in state. Uh, what, what, are, what is everybody doing? What's closed? What's been canceled? Uh, when is this going to end? That's just the constant like thing everybody's talking about. So we're going to try to stay a little bit positive about this stuff because everybody's talking about like, Oh, everyone's going to die. Everything is terrible. All the stores are closed. You're never going to wipe your butt ever again. Um, <laughs> And I'm tired of it <laughs> because it's not Boy. true. None of it's true. I um, can only clutch my pearls so many times. Right, right, right. Um, yeah, so I mean, it, not to say that there's, you know, this isn't bad or this is overhyped or anything. I think the panic is far worse than the virus itself. And the virus is p- pretty bad. Um, Absolutely. That's, so I guess that's saying a, saying a lot more about the panic than it is the virus. However,. Um, we should be talking about all the great things we can do inside, uh, since uh, nobody's really talking about that. Everybody's just kind of like binging on Netflix, and then they run out of stuff, and then they start losing their mind, not knowing what to do. Um, so how have you been biding your time, <laughs> staying inside, occasionally working? Uh, no, I'm, I'm working all the time. I actually picked up an extra shift today. Oh, nice. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I've got that going for me, because a lot of people, unfortunately, are uh, struggling to be gainfully employed at this time so yeah um, and I that's a big positive that's a big positive for me right now is the fact that i have a job that uh yeah, yeah. i'm able to keep working so yeah so i kind of did a career change where i went from doing medical work to doing mental health work and because all of the ppe supplies personal protective equipment is all being made in china <laughs> and they're restricting imports of those things. All of the facilities are just out of stuff, so they've just been sending everybody out to the streets. A bunch of mental health what? patients running around on the streets right now. What uh, could go wrong? What could go wrong? Um, it's, it's almost like there was a movie about this last year. Uh, I can't remember. What was it? It's so weird. It's, it's, it's what is, it something about a, a clown or something. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> so. <laughs> Yeah, the pur- uh, <laughs> well, the, the purge. No, 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 no. Joker. <laughs> oh, Joker! God. I'm thinking, I'm thinking horror. I'm like, he's not talking about it. Okay, yeah, Joker. <laughs> I gotcha. So yeah, so there's been lots of different things that you can do to stay inside. We're gonna talk about some of those things. So, do you play a lot of vidges? Vidges or vidges games? Yeah, vidges. Yeah, vidge games. Vidges. As much. Uh, no, man, I'm fuck. I'm like so analog lately. Um, I've just been reading, man, and studying uh, more. So, um, plus, you know, my uh, kids are, are at home now that the government indoctrination centers have been uh, shut down temporarily, at least. So, uh, they're kind of hogging up all the uh, electronics now. In terms of, and a lot of the stuff I like to watch isn't really uh, suitable for for them anyway. So. <laughs> Oh really? What you been watching? Uh, <laughs> a lot of Skin and Max or what? Skin and Max. <laughs> what is there anything else to watch during the uh, quarantine? No, uh, um, just like horror, you know, horror and uh, stuff that they would probably find boring. Okay, so, so I, I hope that you've seen a lot of the great horror movies that have been coming out lately. Before delicious, delicious Negro Modella said, "Ah, uh, no mas." I. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> I've been trying, man. So I'm I'm way behind. Woefully behind. You got to check out the Lighthouse, which is probably yes. probably one of the best movies I've seen in a long time. Even though it fits into that horror genre, it's 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 definitely something that can appeal to someone who just likes film in general. I've been recommending yeah. it to everybody, even if someone's like, I know they're not interested in horror, and I'm technically not really into horror a lot i mean I, I enjoy it on occasions i like it during the uh, a lot around you know fall and october and stuff like that Se- seasonal yeah Halloween. yeah <laughs> but that one was really good and that's one of those ones you can just keep going back to yeah that was on my radar when i first saw it i just haven't got to it yet but a lot of that stuff's popping up yep. on the uh amazon and all that shit where you can just you know even like the newest releases are like available because all the theaters are shut down, so they're just putting them out for like twenty bucks on you know streaming services or whatever. Yeah. So I know um, was it Trolls two or the new Trolls movie World Tour that looks absolutely terrible. It was slated to come out in Oof. April, uh, beginning of April, I believe. Um, I could be completely wrong. I remember it was supposed to come out in April for sure. They said that they're just going to release it online, um, which. Okay, I had no interest in watching that, but it's kind of unprecedented to unprecedented to see like a movie, you know, a, a, a brand new major studio picture, even though it's animated. What is it, Sony? Uh, I think so. One of their Sony trash. But they, um, but anyways, they uh, they're they're releasing uh, it online first, and all of the other movies that Sony or NBC Universal is all. Like, no, that's sorry, that's not that that's NBC Universal that does that anyway. They did that movie. But mm-hmm. then I know they're also doing that to The Invisible Man. Uh, Bloodshot, I believe, is a universal film, and that's getting released, which, by the way, don't see that. It's terrible. Uh, the Hunt. Uh, yeah, The Invisible Man was good. That's a that's a good horror film you should check out. Yeah, yeah. that's one of the ones I want to check out. Mm-hmm. It's kind of uh, weird that like <laughs> that movies are coming out on video. Usually that's a sign that they're bad, but The Hunt and... Um, God damn it, I just said it. The Invisible Man were really great movies. Uh, and it's, mm-hmm. yeah, usually like, usually a movie has to be really bad for them to just dump it out on film. Uh, or straight on, to DVD. Right? Yeah, straight or to DVD. Yeah. Straight. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. Yeah. Are those, a, are those a thing anymore? DVDs? Yeah, they're still a thing. No, I know. Yeah, it's weird. Uh, I like Blu-rays more. I just wish the Blu-ray format didn't suck as much. I hate the menus and... All right. the forced stuff they make you watch now, and you can't overwrite it at all. It just sucks. It just sucks. But it's worth it to get a really high quality, uncompressed uh, video version of it, and to have. Yeah, something I'm physical. a huge fan of having hard copies of everything mm-hmm. for obvious reasons, in case the uh, interwebs don't work for whatever reason. Yeah, like it, like it's been messing with us today. <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> case in point. If so, if a movie's really good, I'll buy it on uh, on physical. Which I have a copy of um, The Force Awakens, and I'm, I'm about ready to throw that away. <laughs> you, <laughs> you could use it for a coaster, bro. I know, right? I'm just knocking everything over in here, aren't I? Go shoot some clay pigeons. Stop! I'm just hold on. God damn it! Stupid so I. I assume you'll be getting. I assume you'll be picking up the hard copy of uh, the Rise of Skywalker. Oh yeah, yeah, you know it. <laughs> yeah, uh, we we didn't talk about that. That movie was a mess. Did you get the chance to see it yet? I did. What a mess, <laughs> dude! What an absolute mess. I, I have mixed feelings about it. When I went in and I watched like the first half hour, the first act i'm like oh my god they were just throwing so much exposition and and crap at you and i'm like dude if this whole movie is like this this is gonna be a goddamn nightmare oh and it was and well i i I think it got marginally better you know i mean i think jj did what he could with trying to retcon you know what ryan johnson did uh it wasn't great Mm -hmm. obviously and i think i gotta go with last jedi as the the or uh yeah, the Last Jedi is probably the best of the three. Really? Which when it, I th- I think because for the Force Awakens is a total retread, total you know fan service, and that's what JJ's about. He's all about giving fans what they want. Uh, so I, I'm actually more of a Force Awakens or a Last Jedi guy now. Yeah, I thought I liked the Last Jedi, but then the more I thought about it, I was like, wait, that doesn't make sense. That's stupid. Um, yeah, none of none of this shit makes sense anymore. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. That's stupid. Thanks, then, Disney. Yeah, and then at the very end, you realize like that movie was just like 
a bunch of like cars taking off but never getting to anywhere. They all just break down. <laughs> yeah. It's like what am I watching? And I and I understand like you know like in the 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 second in a trilogy usually is like the one that's supposed to leave you on a down down note. It's supposed to be the cliffhanger. Yeah, it's, it's the it's the middle build or you know the yeah, second act. But right. they didn't like everything that that was built up in the first one. They just threw in the trash. Everything that was interesting, mm-hmm. they just threw in the trash. And then right. they were like, oh, all of these things that doesn't matter. And we're gonna go a bunch of places and do a bunch of stuff. But don't worry, none of that matters. <laughs> Casino, what? Oh, fuck, right. Don't even start about Casino tonight. <laughs> I can't even remember the name of the the planet or whatever. So, hats off to you, buddy. It's etched into my brain because it's so terrible. You just out, <laughs> you just out geeked me. But the Rise of Skywalker was just like it was. It was. It's. Um. I think what is it? Red Letter Media. They said. Um. Or Rich Evans said that like it was a bunch of great like interesting story arcs that like if they stretched out and over to three films, it would have been fine. Right. But they crammed it all in and didn't let give you time to breathe or let it set in or anything. And the pacing right. was just like, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. And I think there was even a part where, like, they had a chance to breathe and set down, but everyone was like, no, we have to get going. And it's like, fuck. Can we just slow down? Can we just take a break and then just, like, chew the scenery for a bit? And like, no, we got to keep going, got to keep going, got to keep going, got to go here, got to go no. here. And a lot of that stuff we didn't even need to do. We just didn't need to go there or do, do all those things. Just a yeah, complete waste yes. of time. We're and in Palpatine. You can yeah. totally tell that's like, what do we do since we killed off our, uh, you know, well, our bad guy in the series? Oh, let's, let's get out, Palpatine. Well, I, well, we never. Well, and that's the whole thing is like you never really. I know he fell down the shaft, but you never really see him die, right? So no hey, we can bring him really back. It, it, right. <laughs> 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 yeah. So. And I, you know, that you have to have a strong antagonist to drive the story. You know, that's where the conflict comes from. So, I, in a way, to me, that it made sense that they went back to Palpatine, even though I felt like it was kind of cliche or, or expected or cheesy. But um, I think what I liked about it was, uh, what the hell, Kylo Ren's arc, and you know, I mean, it obviously it totally mirrors, or in a lot of ways, mirrors Darth Vader's redemption mm-hmm. arc. Um, yeah, I, I liked it, but I don't think I, it was deserved. I, 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 I don't I like, think it was like deserved. It was not but, deserved. But the, but there's some weird. <laughs> but yeah, it, I mean, no, it wasn't done well. Yeah. You know, I just like that it ended on that note. But yeah, it was totally ham fisted, and um, so much shit didn't make sense, and just ugh, God. Yeah. fifteen thousand people dead to delicious, delicious Negro Modelo, but no one's ever really gone. All right, <laughs> <laughs> oof. <laughs> Too soon. Too soon. <laughs> uh, okay. It's, but I guess I guess you have plenty of time and uh, free bandwidth to uh, to check those uh, those movies out if you uh, if you insist. Because uh, I got word from Cox Communications, who is my internet service provider. Which that is a terrible name for an internet service provider, especially like like oh, <laughs> what service provider you got? I got caught. Co- God damn it. Um, <laughs> COX. Yeah, I got the COX, however you pronounce <laughs> <I got> that. <laughs> cause. I got the cause. There we go. It's the cause. <laughs> Doing it for the cause. <laughs> A little no effects reference. Nice. Hey, there you go. Uh, was it? Oh, no. The, but, anyways. Um, so, yeah, I, I got a note. Like, uh, I was. I downloaded Watch Dogs, which we'll get into that a little bit too. I downloaded Watch Dogs. Uh, Because the game was free, and I was like, fuck it, let's just do it. And I downloaded it, and it was 14 gigs, and I was like, oof, uh, this is going to take a big chunk out of my bandwidth thing, and I want to, you know, go to the public library sometime this uh, this month because there's nothing better to do. And I went and logged in, and it was like, oh, hey, uh, for the next two months, uh, you don't have to worry about your bandwidth cap. You're good to go. Just, and if you over, if you get pay for unlimited, like we're going to credit your account. Because I guess they're just really encouraging everybody to stay inside, even giving people free unlimited internet uh, bandwidth. So I'm like, great, great. I'm happy about that. But um, was it Epic Game Store is giving out a bunch of free games? I think one of the ones that they're they're doing right now is uh, Watch Dogs. And I think that's good until like the 26th. So if you want to get Watch Dogs for free, check out Epic Game Store. Um, I think Steam released uh, two of this Tomb Raider, uh, Tomb, Tomb Raider games for free. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, and I'm pretty sure 
I'm pretty sure maybe the other game. Or, no, no. Gog has um, Shadow Warrior, the original Shadow Warrior game for free, which I got that. F- fucking love that game. Nice. So yeah, everybody's everybody's chipping in and, and letting us have free stuff <laughs> to keep us all inside. No, oh, that's great, man. That's because that's completely just they're doing it voluntarily, and you know, mm-hmm. I was I was reading about a uh, or are they? Some, hmm. Maybe. Are you going? Are you going full conspiracy? No, 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 no. Here, here, here's the thing. Have you ever heard of the idea that birds aren't real? Yes. See, the government killed off all of the birds around the world, and the reason why they did this so th- is that so they can replace them with with uh, drones. So the birds that you're seeing, they're not really birds. They're drones. They're spy drones to keep an eye on you. And the reason why we're having this government quarantine is so that they can replace all the batteries in the birds without us noticing. Stay inside so you can't see us replacing the batteries. Hashtag birds aren't real. (laughs) Boom. Mind blown. (laughs) I don't know why. Why did I not see this before? Yeah. That's the real reason why they want you to stay inside. Coronavirus? (laughs) More like Corona hoax. Am I right, guys? What? (laughs) (laughs) Fake, fake news. Fake news. Fake news. Um, (laughs) No, by the way, not serious. I, I, I think, have to mention that because I think you meant Modelo. While, I'll get someone. Modelo virus. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> delicious, delicious Negro Modelo. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Um, otherwise, occasionally I will get people who don't understand sarcasm and go like, "What do you mean?" <laughs> right. <laughs> Which I should just enjoy it. Just, it just like you keep mean, keep, uh, keep playing it up mean, every time they comment to me. You mean most libertarians? Right. Right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's for actually birds are real. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we get it. You love the government. <laughs> uh, 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 I can I can make I can make that joke because my son's autistic and I'm I'm probably somewhere on that spectrum. I, I I have a streak of libertarian autism in me as well. I think we all do. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're we're all we're all secretly uh at least partially autistic. I, I don't know if uh, autism and ADD are are one of those things that that can be because I know that you can't be ADD and uh, schizophrenic because the, right. the the chemical imbalances that cause each of those things are like polar opposites. Like one is you have too much and the other one is have too little. I think it's free dopamine. <laughs> if you have too much free dopamine, then it causes hallucinations and paranoia and stuff like that. Uh, whereas if you don't have enough, then you have ADD and you're just mm-hmm. like, Ooh, shiny object squirrel, Ooh, squ- squirrel, squirrel. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, speaking of shiny objects, uh, Kenny Rogers, man, passed away. <laughs> Ripping pepperoni, man. Yeah. You made a gambler joke, but uh, like the first thing that I did when I heard about this, everybody made gambler references, but I was like. Well, it looks like he just checked in to see what his what condition his condition was in, and it was not good. <laughs> it was <laughs> it was the worst condition. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I really wasn't a big Kenny Rogers fan. Like, apparently, you're a big fan of the restaurant. Is that correct? Or, I, well, I'm, that's what I'm saying. Is it is it too soon to be a Kenny Rogers roaster? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe too oh, late. That's not. I stole that joke from Twitter, by the way. Oh. Some stand-up comedian made it, but God damn it, it's funny. <laughs> so I'll give credit to wherever it came from. Yeah. So, uh, so you've been working oh, through dude. while everyone's drinking delicious, delicious Negro Modelo for the uh, what is and, it the the end, wa- the endless St. Patty's Day mm-hmm. special, right? Yeah. <laughs> And watching unlimited Pornhub, no doubt. <laughs> Thanks, Cox. <laughs> I mean, COX. <laughs> so, so you're all about the Cox and Pornhub and Skinner Max. I'll make sure yeah. to put that in the show notes. Full, yeah, full circle. <laughs> I, I've just heard of these things. I, I, I really don't know what they. Yeah, are. I don't know what this. Is. What are you talking about? I, I would never. I'm a good Christian boy. Hail Satan. Um, Hail yourself. Yeah. So I, I just been like listening to a lot of music, um, trying to catch up on a lot of albums that I've been like dying to get around to listening to. Cause uh, every, mm-hmm. you know, there's those lists of uh, that albums that come out. Like you have to listen to these albums before you die. Like there's the thousand albums you have to listen to before you <laughs> ten, die. 10,000 albums. You yeah. Have to listen to before you die. I tried going through all of those once and I was doing like a podcast, uh, when I did, uh, Oh, Hi. 
I forgot to turn my ringer off. Who's bugging me now? Hmm. Thanks, Obama. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's it's uh, orange Obama. Okay, orange, so orange orange Obama. <laughs> orange Obama. <laughs> it's a it's a message reminding you to get your Trump bucks, but right. Yeah. <laughs> Because you can't get the the Yang Gang bag, you got to get your Trump bucks. Yeah, I mean Obama was a Kenyan, but uh, Trump is a Keynesian, so uh, <laughs> I need to see his birth certificate. <laughs> so like a full boomer. On this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, what are you gonna do with your bag? <laughs> <laughs> Buy precious metals. That's not a bad idea. Um, so someone was passed. It was Danny Duchamp uh, was passing around this Twitter thing where was, he just showed a bunch of headlines saying, "Yeah, the market looks uh, looks like it's down, or or the market may look down, or whatever." But you shouldn't take your all your money out of your bank account. And then another article was, "Yeah, you know, market is uh, starting to uh, the market for gold is starting to rally, but that's not a real good reason to buy right now." And then the other one is like Homer Simpson holding a card saying, "Do whatever the me- do the opposite of whatever the media says." <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. No, so. I'll, I'll probably take my Trump bucks and buy a few truckloads of White Claw and run that during the uh, apocalypse here. So yeah. Well, that's that's the true anarchist drink right there. I mean, even though we're being sponsored by delicious, delicious Negro Modelo, remember to ask your men- Mexi- <laughs> Me- Mexican. <laughs> Maybe I'm going having Alzheimer's because of Jeff Bridges. <laughs> I watched The Big Lebowski, and then uh, Bad Times the El Royale, and now I'm calling everyone Mexicans. Uh, anyways, uh, <laughs> so next just time you got your with, favorite... Just don't fuck with the Jesus, man. Right. Don't fuck with the Jesus. So next time you got your favorite Mexican eatery, remember to ask your waitress, Negra, please. Um, <laughs> oh, oh, is that a check for me? Thank you. Thanks, sir. Um, hmm. Yeah, but but uh, even, the, even, even that said, uh, the White Claw is definitely the... The anarchist drink because there are no laws when you're drinking claws. There's no law when you're drinking the claw. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so yeah, we're. Look, I think right now it's confirmed that we're getting a bag in April and May, um, and it depends on how much money that you make. But it seems like on average, chances are you're getting about a thousand dollars. Yeah, which is funny. I read, the, I read they might want to do three thousand if you have like a family of four. Yeah, or something yeah. like that. So, so, uh, but I don't. <clears throat> Just keep that money machine printing. Yeah, I'm not gonna get that bag. <laughs> hey, but if you get your bag and you feel a little generous, uh, hashtag please donate. Um, anyways, <laughs> uh, I'll get I'll get you on Patreon, bro. Now that you're oh, back so, on there, yeah, now I'm, yeah, I'm on Patreon. I'm doing regular content. Shameless again. plug. Yeah. Uh, what was that? I'm, I'm I went on like three different tracks right now. Um, so yeah, we're getting the bag. Uh, I, I'm probably gonna invest in records because I think out of all of the investments that I've ever invested in even though i never really invested in records i was just like "Ooh, i want a record i want to buy this record uh there was a couple records that i bought for maybe I mean, i've never spent more than 50 dollars on a record and the one that mm-hmm. i did spend 50 dollars on a record was like something that i stood in line for i didn't know how much it was going to cost and when i got there i was like "Ooh." <sighs> well i Not- I sat in line all night for this. Now I have to get it. (laughs) It's like, I might as well get it. And it it was a good pressing because it was crazy different colors and stuff. Um, And it was a Flaming Lips Tame Impala split EP, which is freaking amazing. Nice. Fine. I'll get so I'm not spending any more than that. But so what you're telling me is you'll stand in line for a record, but not for butt wipe. Your priorities are all fucked, Jim. (laughs) Uh, Look, I have a shower and I have a cat. (laughs) <laughs> Sorry, little one. <laughs> oh, hopefully, <laughs> luckily, it's not a white cat, right? Oh, well, she's gray, um, blue gray. Mm-hmm. Anyways, um, but yeah, like there's there's been a few albums that I bought for thirty, forty dollars or something like that, and then I looked it up later and was like, oh, they're average anywhere selling anywhere from you know one hundred and fifty dollars to three hundred dollars for an album yeah, I bought crazy. like twenty, thirty bucks for. Uh, mostly the Mars Volta. I think I have a Young Lean album that go, that's going for about a hundred. Uh, I have a um, what is it? Uh, that that Flaming Lips Tame Impala album I've I've seen going for two hundred. So hmm, some of these are pretty good investments, but I'm not really investing in them. I'm just like I just want to listen to good music and I want, want to listen it, to right? vinyl and I, I like having like a tactile like thing in my hand. Like I have the music; it's in my uh, hand. And I know, man. I do too. Notes and there's a whole process and ritual. I used to love. 
I used to love sitting with the CD liner notes and reading the lyrics and, you know, I still like having that hard copy. Mm-hmm. I just haven't, I haven't got a vinyl. I haven't got a record player yet. I've been wanting one for like a year and a half. So or oh, longer. I, I give you some recommendations if you want Oop, bump and stuff. So, but, um, what was I going with this? So yeah. yeah um, I just been trying to catch up on like movies and music that, that I haven't heard that everybody keeps telling me that I have to listen to. Like there is that list of like thousand movies and thousands of a uh, thousand albums that you have to listen to before mm-hmm. you died. And I tried going through all of them on my Patreon thing and I got like to trout mask replica and I just became obsessed with it and forgot about doing it anymore. <laughs> that's where the, sh- that's where the train stopped. I- yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause I was like, Oh shit, that's next. Oh fuck. <laughs> and I listened to it and I was like, yeah, that's, that's, Ah, thank you for reminding me how much I love this album. And then I just gushed over that album in my review. And I was like, oh, this is all I'm listening to from now on. Fuck Tori. Because the next album was like Tori Amos. And I was like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good to go and do any more of these. <laughs> I know uh, 4chan has their own. They have the the the, the Mew Core. Um, and then there's a bunch of albums, or which is I think maybe like four or five albums on Boss Core, which is the albums that my Discord group decided were the albums that everybody had to listen to before they died. So there's nice. a few of those albums that I had to um, listen to as well. Uh, and I've been catching up on all the Coen Brothers movies. And now everybody's telling me, like, oh, you should check out all the uh, Ridley Scott movies. And I'm like, I am not saying no to that ever. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to turn Blade, that down. Blade Runner. Blade Runner. De- that's that's the one they, they want us to do next is Blade Runner and Blade Runner 2049. Or, excuse me, Blade Runner Runtime Two hundred uh, two thousand forty nine minutes. <laughs> exactly. Which, it was by good the though. Way, even as, as much as I love that movie, I will say that I fell asleep in the in the theater, like just briefly. I kept nodding off. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and then when I watched it again, you know, and I wasn't nodding off, and I got a chance to watch it, like really sat down and watch it. I was like, yeah, this was good. Like I was fine mm-hmm. with with nodding off. I mean, it's boring <laughs> in the way that I like movies to be boring, where you just like there's just so much scenery that you can just chew up. Exactly. It was it, it was a gorgeous film. Yeah, it's very slow paced, so like everything's just kind of going, and you don't have to like feel like, oh, what, what, what did I miss something? You can just right. just enjoy the scenery for a bit. Unlike the Rise of Skywalker, which is just we have to keep going, we have to keep doing well, stuff, oh. more things, get gotta, a cameo in, gotta check your heart rate. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, man, I'm gonna have a fucking stroke. <laughs> I, I want to watch Rise of Skywalker, and then watch Blade Runner, and just like just. Just, just to, yeah, just to even contrast. it out, balance yeah. it out, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, um, I, I love that movie. That's great. Uh, I want to, I want to check out the uh, the the final cut of uh, Blade Runner since there's like a different. Yeah, there's so many cuts, man. Yeah, uh, but that's and the I've... one everybody wants me to watch now. So I'm just like, okay, there's I'll one, check that one. There's out. one on Netflix. Uh, it might be the final cut. I don't because I actually I was like doing research on which is the best cut because I don't have time to watch all of them or find all of them. Yeah, and I think I think I read that was the the best one, the general consensus. But. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of. I think the only one that I hear that that's not really good is the uh, the, the theatrical cut where they have the, right. uh, the narration with Harrison Ford. Yeah, and they shoehorn the happy ending in it or so. I don't yeah. remember something like that. So definitely need a rewatch. Yeah, and the soundtrack is so good. It's so eighties. It's so like almost. It's, it's proto synthwave, and it's it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, no, it's f- phenomenal. Yeah. So yeah, I've, I've just been catching up on all the music nerd nerd albums that I've been trying to uh, listen to for the longest time. Finally got around to listening to like all of the uh, Godspeed You Black Emperor albums, which I've been really dying nice. to get into. I mean, I've heard I've had heard a couple of their albums before, and I really enjoyed them. But it was great to kind of go through the rest of their stuff swans that's another discography that i need to go through all the way um even though i've just been obsessed with to be kind holy fuck is that album great but um they have they're one of those bands that just have like oh yeah we have like you know 30 albums and some of those albums are like triple lps and it's like holy fuck (laughs) yeah to be kind is like two hours long um you know unlike the mars volta (laughs) exactly where it's like oh we only have like three albums but you know they're two hours long or 80 minutes Each, long. Yeah. Which is still long. one song is 20 minutes long. Right. Yeah. Exactly. It, you know, it's no dream theater. <laughs> like dream theater is like <laughs> an eight hour long song or the flaming lips where they the flaming lips actually has a 24 hour long song, which is uh, fantastic. If you, uh, or, uh, if you want to just sleep, 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, like sleep. <laughs> I don't know if you're into like Doom or anything, but sleep. They have like an hour and a half long. Well, the album's like one song. It's like an hour and a half long. Yeah. Crazy. I think um, technically there's a Prince album that's only one track. <laughs> I don't. I don't remember what 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 the what the idea was, but uh, I think it was, I, I haven't heard this, and I don't know which one it is. So don't quote don't quote me on this. I could be completely wrong because I heard this secondhand. Mm-hmm. But I know that there's a Prince album, so I'm told that only has one track on it, and you can actually buy the whole album for 99 cents. And nice. I don't know if it's like different songs that they just put on one track, so that you know the back of the album only said one track or something. I forget what uh-huh. the what the story was exactly um but that's a thing does that count as one song even if it is a bunch of different songs even though it's on one track i, I doubt it but the uh, the flaming lips album i actually l- stayed up for 24 hours just to see if i could do it just like can i listen to this whole song <coughs> from beginning to end it was a day that i uh that my my uh, my my work said you have to take your vacation or you will lose it do you want to just take it now and i was like yeah let's just take it now and i had like a week off <laughs> don't threaten me with a good time yeah don't threaten me with a good time how dare you um so i just <laughs> so i just stayed up <laughs> drank a bunch of like energy drinks and just listened to that song straight there was a couple times where i dozed off but it was it was an interesting thing to listen to a song for 24 hours 24 hours straight and it was a legitimate song like it had like different movements in it like and the and the the beginning of the song is how the song ends, kind of. So it all comes full circle at the very end. <clears throat> yeah, Though it takes a whole day to get there. Yeah. Um. Basically, don't panic. <laughs> <laughs> don't exactly, panic. dude. Yeah. Um, I, hmm? I see. I've always thought that the reaction uh, to this, to I mean, it is the legitimate concern about. <laughs> The, how fast this thing is spreading and how contagious it is, but the panic and the fear and the uh, rush to uh, buy everything is pro- and, and obviously what the government's doing in terms of the economy that, that to me, those are the most troublesome aspects of it, you know, and not to, you know, take anything away from people who are legitimately at risk or suffering from it. But, you know, in the long run, I think the, the most damage is going to be done by, the reaction to it rather than the actual, uh, you know, virus itself. Yeah. And, uh, I know a lot of people on Twitter have been saying, this is the death of libertarianism. Like this proves that libertarianism doesn't work. And it's like, <laughs> let me get this straight. So you have a, a, a government, uh, who knew that there was a, uh, a contagious virus going on in their country who hit it and lied about it and ignored it for in, until it got to the, be the, a, a huge problem. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, their solution to that was to um, uh, try to cure them with alternative medicine and ignoring the problem for the most part uh, until it spread everywhere. And this is somehow my ideolo- ideology's fault. Uh, no. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's not how bro, mafia works, buddy. Bro, don't you know China is peak libertarianism? Oh, oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, wait. I mean, there is Zomia. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think that's where the Wuhan virus came from. Uh, no, I, th- I think if I remember correct, oh, I'm sorry, not Wuhan virus, delicious Negro Modelo. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Negro, please. Oh, Una mas. Nice. Thank you. All right. Um, <laughs> keep, keep them coming. Yeah. I need to keep them coming. I'm not, I'm not working right now. Yeah. Thank Yeah. Keep them coming. <laughs> thank you. Um, oh, can you get, can I get a Negro too? Yes. Thank you. Glass, thanks. Okay, so um, <laughs> oh, you gotta have the glass. Yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta have the glass. I'm, I'm gonna save it because you know I might need it for my prepper storage. Um, what was what was I saying? Oh, so um, you said you've been reading a lot. What you've been reading? What you've been reading, fam? I'm actually reading. Uh, I'm it's story craft. So I'm reading a book by Robert McKee about how to write screenplays or novels called Story. It's fucking. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm reading The Accidental Tourist. Uh, I forgot who the author was, but it's kind of a love story, but it's interesting stuff. And um, yeah, so just trying to uh, read, write, and study as much as possible, man, which is all things you can do when you're uh, drinking Negro Modelo. Yeah, Negro Modelo. Mm, Negro, please. Oh, thank you, Jack. 
Thanks. Um, have you got a chance to check out Might is Right by one Ragnar Redbeard? I mean, I've I've read like snippets of it. I haven't uh, dug into the whole thing, but it's yeah, yeah. Because Amazon just banned it from their bookstore. Of course, it Oof. is. <laughs> You know, it's funny. Um, Shocker. Yeah. I mean, like, um, it's funny because the, the people who publish Mein Kampf, Hitler's mm-hmm. book, um, they're all Jewish organizations. And they publish this book and they spread this book to say, like, this is what fascism is. Mm-hmm. Read this. We want you to read what he said so that if it comes again, you'll recognize it. Um, yeah. You know, it's... Know your enemy, basically. Yeah. Or, yeah. Which, by the way, while, while I'm talking about this, I should start, try to see if I can find a copy of that on Amazon, because that'd be weird if I could get that book, but not Might is Right. Um, so Might is Right, I don't know if you're familiar with all that's in it. I mean, because if you read snippets, you probably read the best parts of it, or the better parts yeah. of it. Yeah, I'm, I'm familiar with some of the concepts, and it's very logical to me mm-hmm. uh yeah. but there are some stuff that are very irrational um there's True. parts of it where it's like um talking about you know w- women's are property and the jews are terrible and and black people should be killed or whatever let me see Let's yeah see. those are all troublesome aspects of it i i agree is it e-i-n oh yeah there it is m-e-i-n yeah, yeah i found it Mine wall. Let's see. Can I buy? Yeah. I can, so I can buy Mine Comp, but I can't buy Might is Right. Interesting. Yikes. <laughs> yeah. So um, I don't know if he still listens to this show, but I know that he that that, that he was a fan of my content for a while. Um, the guy who runs Underworld Amusements, Kevin Slaughter, um, who is also a, uh, a minister at the Church of Satan, he actually just came out with a brand new edition of Midas Right, and it has like all kinds of footnotes and stuff, and it has a really great uh, forward by Peter Gilmore, who was the head of the Church of Satan, um, talking about this book and kind of going like, yeah, re- like there, there's really good stuff in here, but there's a lot of terrible stuff, but all the terrible stuff is in contradiction of the things that he said that were good. Um, you know, so... He wasn't mm-hmm. perfect, but you know the exactly. the stuff that's good in it is so good that you really should read it and just try to ignore all the terrible parts. That being said, uh, mm-hmm. you know they published it on uh, mm-hmm. Amazon and, and we're selling copies there, which is where I got my copy. And then I don't know what happened uh, exactly. I think Brian Sovereign talked about it, but, um, but uh, something along the lines of like they pulled it from the thing because. Uh, apparently, there was a shooting that happened a couple years ago um, in California where the shooter named the book as an inspiration for him on his Instagram or something. Oh, uh, man. And they were like, well, it's racist, so we have to, like, suppress it. So you can buy Mein Kampf from Amazon, but you can't buy Might is Right. Um, so that is a thing. It's quite telling, I guess. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, but you can still buy I, I, the book I, I, from Underworld Amusements. I'll, I'll put a link in the show notes if I can remember. <laughs> Watch, I will remember. I just put it in my show notes now. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I definitely like the idea that the only rights you have are the ones that you're willing to kind of, that you're able to fight and keep or die for. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, you're, there's no real natural rights unless you're willing to assert your, wi- you know, will to keep them. And that's probably like not a great summation of it, but yeah, it's definitely an interesting concept. Let me see if I can't find the. Uh... Yeah, because I I ended up just taking a PDF copy, not, not of the underworld amusements version, which I think is the best version, but uh, just, just one that I found an archive and just posted it on my discord. And I was like, I just need to keep this here just because I don't want this to go away. Um, I can't find the quote. I'll have to dig it mm-hmm. later, <laughs> but there was a really good quote <laughs> in that book that, that was that I was like passing around and I don't like attribute it to anything. I usually just, Post it, like, just let Put the text read. There. Yeah, it just let people go, like, oh, right. that's really good. And then it's, like, later that people look it up and go, oh. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe, maybe is there something in that book that I should, you know, should check out, <laughs> and, 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 you know, and just ignore the bad stuff? I'm like, yeah, you should probably check it out. Um, 
Yeah, I highly recommend that book. You should probably check it out since you've got some uh, free time and free delicious Negro Modelo to enjoy. <laughs> well, I guess I won't, be <laughs> I won't be getting it from Amazon, apparently. No, no, no. You have to buy it from you have to buy it from Kevin Slaughter himself. Um, I don't know. I'd maybe there's some that. other sellers that sell it, but yeah, Amazon's not having any of it. Not Good. at all. Yeah. Uh, and play, besides, you're going to get that bag, you know, I'm pretty, pretty sure you're looking for some stuff to spend it on. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going record shopping, homie. Oh, shit. Yeah. Records, records, uh, records are pretty good. Records are pretty good. Uh, have you been prepping at all? Say again, you cut out. Oh, uh, have you been prepping at all? Are you prepping? Are you making a hard jack? Uh, you you're doing you- a lot of canning? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Are you a f- oh Fed confirmed? No, just, kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Tell me where you keep your gold hoard. <laughs> yeah. Hey, where's your sash, man? No, I you know I, I definitely believe in um, being prepared. You mm-hmm. know, so I think that's just being responsible. You know, I've done some research, and I think a lot of the issues that we're facing with the current uh, Modelo uh, crisis is. Due to the whole just-in-time shipping, uh, pro, you know, program that these companies prefer because it saves them money. They don't have to store a lot of stuff, but it's also a lot of the panic buying, you know. Mm-hmm. Which, uh, I mean, and in some ways that's understandable because when you think something is scarce, you value it more, you know. So if you think, if you think or know that butt wipe is scarce, you're obviously going to want, you know, want to want more of it. So it's not rational, but. Yep. Um, but so, yeah, I, I, you know, I have kids, I have a, you know, family that I had to provide for. And the last thing I want is for them to suffer because I wasn't thinking about far enough ahead, you know what I mean? So to me, it's just a logical thing to have a little extra and it, it doesn't have to be like an, you know, the episode of doomsday preppers that you see on <laughs> fucking beat, you know, it's like, Hey, we eat this shit, you know? Let's just buy a little more of it. It's on sale yeah. now, or you know what I mean? It's just common sense stuff. And it doesn't even have to be for a pandemic. It can be if you were injured or out of work for three months. You know what I mean? Okay, well, you know, we've we've got some extra food on hand, so we don't have to allocate money for it. We can, you know, pay the medical bills or, you know, the the AC bill or, or whatever. It's just it's the panic is or fear is the problem whether it's if you're buying shit at the last minute or if you're stocking up for 20 years of you know storage food Mm -hmm. just use reason logic just be rational and think you know about what you need in your situation it doesn't have to be like an extreme on either end yeah yeah i mean I was out of, I just needed to get some like beans and stuff, you know, beans and rice and that stuff. And yeah, basically. Um, it, it's funny because after I did the show and I released the episode, after I released the episode and I sent it out, I went to the grocery store. And in that episode, I was like, I have not seen this. This is, this is not happening in my area just yet. Uh, mm-hmm. I know it's happening. I wasn't doubting that it was happening. I was just like, I just haven't seen it yet. Mm-hmm. Went to the store. And it was just a freaking madhouse. Like every parking spot was taken. Like, mm-hmm. and this is a brand new grocery store, and it had a huge parking lot, giant parking lot, and it also had like a corporate office that was closed. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then there was some stores like in a little strip mall right above it. All of them were packed, even though all the stores were closed in it, except for a Trader Joe's and a uh, and a Winco, which is the the big grocery store that I was trying to get right. into. And I was like, oh no! So I ended up having going to Sprouts. Let me tell you about how much I hate places like F- Whole Paycheck and Sprouts. <laughs> I paid, and this is not because they were price gouging. This is just how much they sell this for. I paid $5, $5 f- each for um, uh, a pound of black-eyed peas, a pound of uh, small red beans, and a, uh, a pound of black beans. Five- wow. Five dollars a a pound for each of those things, or I think one of them was like three ninety nine. I think the black eyed peas were three ninety nine. 
But still, like, man, that is that is crazy. But the reason why is because they're organic, free trade, non-GMO, certified, right? Certi- yeah, right. it's just nonsense. It's just like this is this is stupid. Why do you guys do this to yourselves? Why do you do this to your paycheck? <laughs> but you it said was whole pay- insane inside. And you I know said why. Whole paycheck? You mean Whole Foods? Yeah, I assume <laughs> Whole Paycheck. Yeah, Whole Foods. I, dude, I was, um, I was like vegetarian for like the better part of a decade. I want to say almost ten years, and I went to Whole Foods all the time. And I will vouch for that. I would spend like a hundred bucks and come out with like four grocery, like four tiny grocery bags. You know? <laughs> Yeah, I spent seventy dollars, and the only thing that I bought was like a six pack of beer. Which the six pack of beer was average price. Ten. It was it was like ten bucks. Yeah, Eight, it was like ten nine, bucks. Ten arrogant bucks. bastard, tall cans. Mm-hmm. Um, and like uh, I bought like a six dollar bottle of wine, which but that was the normal price stuff. But I also got a couple jars of uh, spaghetti sauce. Uh, like mm-hmm. tomato and basil sauce, and then I forget what the other one was, but it was freaking amazing. I need to go find that. I'll, I'm, I'll, I'll pay for that because that's actually pretty good. But it was like four bucks for a jar. Mm-hmm. Um, some red beans, some you know those beans that I just talked about. Um, some some broken cashews. Um, I mean, just just like little things, right? Uh, and I still didn't get all the stuff that I wanted. I mean, they had they had plenty what of quinoa, I- but I was like, I don't want quinoa. I want I want semolina, semolina flour so I can make pasta. Since you guys aren't don't have any, <laughs> they didn't have that. <laughs> they just straight up didn't sell it. And I was like, why do you have right. quinoa but not or whatever? Asshole. Because it's probably because it has gluten in it. Uh, but <laughs> gluten, <laughs> gluten. Yeah, but it was it was a mess. I paid like seventy dollars for my groceries, and I only had like four bags. Yeah, it would have cost you twenty bucks. It went you know somewhere else. Or... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> At Winco, I could have bought the beans and, and rice and all that stuff in bulk, but they didn't have rice. Um, but I could have bought all that stuff in bulk and, and cheat nothing, but I, there probably wouldn't have been anything. Um, but anyways, it seemed to tone down. So like when I went to the grocery store last time, they were only letting, I think, like 25 groups of people in um, at like a time. 25 at a time, right? Yeah. And then once... Like a certain amount of people it came out. Like once those people came out, then they let them in. So like mm-hmm. we were just in and out of that store. Like no, problem. like a pressure release valve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, like all the all the produce and stuff was all there. Or a cattle yeah. shoot. Yeah, like all, all the stuff that wasn't there was things like ramen, uh, gallon bottles of water, um, right? Rice. Um, your your pasta. both dry goods, right? Yeah, just, just just the stuff that you can store for long periods of time. But everything else mm-hmm. was fine. Like they had cheese, they had eggs, they had milk up the wazoo. Even though they had things saying like, we're only selling a, a maximum of one carton of eggs. So if you want dozen or if you want eighteen, pick one because you can't have both. <laughs> Hard <laughs> choice. Like, huh? <laughs> but I was like, good thing I bought a bunch of eggs. So I was planning on pickling them, which I probably should do. Make some pickled eggs because oh, man, those are nice. Really, I freaking love pickled eggs. Um, but yeah, it just, I don't know. It, it seems to have calmed down for now. Um, yeah, knock on wood. Um, <laughs> but well, I think, I, I think a lot of people have probably gotten most of what they feel they need and they're trying to, uh, self quarantine at this point. Yeah. So hopefully like most of the madness is over. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I've wor- I work in retail and I can tell you the last few weeks have been absolute bedlam, like just insane uh, amounts of people uh, lining up at the, all hours of the night just to wait to get into the door. Uh, panic buying, um, you know, so there's that aspect of it that, you know, the kind of the negative side of it, but a lot of people have been also very uh, complimentary to me when they see me at work and they're like, Hey, you know what? You guys are doing a great job and we really appreciate it. That's uh, nice. So yeah, man, it's so you kind of see both sides of, of human nature in it. Um, and like I said, to some extent, the fear and panic is understandable. Like I said, if you know, you're afraid that you're going to be have to, you know, be in your house for two weeks, you want to make sure you have enough stuff, especially if you have a family. Yeah. Um, but you know, it's, it's been, an experience, man. And this, I mean, I, w- I was in retail or working when like, you know, Y2K hit. Oh, geez. Know, or, was, or was supposed to hit, right? <laughs> and I was totally, 
I, I, I was watching people buy generators and all. <laughs> and I'm just laughing, you know. And then I was laughing even harder when the next day a lot of that shit came back and was returned. So You can't return um, anything right now. Well, and that's, you know, <laughs> that's smart, man. Yeah. You know, like. I mean, if, if I was a business right now and everybody was panic buying, I'd be, I'd put that sign on my, on my store too. Like, I don't know if it was in other stores, but I know Winco had signs saying, uh, we are not reset, uh, taking any returns at all for mm-hmm. anything unless they're like defective or anything right. like that. Uh, they're like, if, yeah. if, if you bought like three cases of, of toilet paper and you realize you didn't need that much. Why would you try to return it? You know you're going to you know yeah. you're going to <laughs> you're going to anyway. end up using it anyway. But yeah, yeah, it's like Yeah, come on, come man. On. Yeah. Don't be that don't be don't be that guy. <laughs> you know. <laughs> it's one thing to return a generator you never used when the world didn't end in 2000. That's funny, but yeah. Don't be the guy returning like toilet paper and mac and cheese that you know you'll fucking go through in the next couple months. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> have, you're you're better than that. <laughs> So you know, I had I had a roommate um, who who told me about because I didn't know him at the time, um, but I had a roommate who was telling me like yeah like uh, when Y two K was happening his parents were like very big on I don't know if you ever heard of like I think his name is Jack Van Imp have you heard of this guy he's like a doomsday uh, preacher he's always thinking the you world's... cut you cut out sorry Jack okay. who Jack Van Imp. Yeah, it sounds familiar. Yeah, he's like a evangelical preacher, and he's always predicting the end of the world Shocker. is coming. Yeah, uh, but his his thing was like the Y two K, and then every, everything you know, anything bad that happens, he's always out there going like, oh, you know, buy everything, kind of like what Jim Baker's doing now. Um, mm-hmm. And his family was like really into him. And then when when the Y two K thing happened, they you know they bought generators, they had the whole underground bunker thing full of canned mm-hmm. food and they s- literally spent new year's eve counting down in their basement hiding thinking the world was going to end and nothing happened and so they were like yeah so for the next six months all we did was eat like canned food <laughs> <laughs> mountain mountain house meals yeah <laughs> <laughs> mres yeah food buckets <laughs> Which I mean, those are great things to have. Yeah, yeah you know, yeah, you should have them. You it's know, like, and, and it's you it's them? it's great to have a generator. You know, yeah. You know? But, but why would you eat them? I mean, you bought all this stuff now. It's like okay, well, now we're prepared for an actual emergency in case it exactly. actually happens. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just just sit on that. It's designed to sit on a shelf. Just leave that alone. Yeah, yeah. You're good. Wait yeah. for the hail hail bop comet or whatever to come back. <laughs> yeah, or, yeah, I think that's not going to come around for another ninety nine years. But uh, well, those most of that stuff will still be good. Yeah, it'll be there. For, <laughs> it's fine. So it'll be I, I don't know, man. Else. Even a hard jack it will go bad. Even though they were eating those things that are like twenty years. Have you heard of this stuff? I think it's called hard jack. I could be completely wrong. Uh, but they're like these like these crackers that they make, and all they make it out of is water, uh, flour, and salt, and that's it. Uh, and they make them in like these. Oh, hard, like hardtack. Yeah. Hardtack. That's the word I'm looking yeah. for. That's like an ancient, like or not ancient, but like old settler or pil- yeah, yeah, settlers yeah. Uh, thing. Yeah, I've, I've heard of it. Yeah, like they were eating during the Civil War. They were eating hardtack that was made for the Spanish War 20 years earlier. Nice. And they were just eating it, and like they would just soak it in the. Uh, they would just put it in their coffee, and uh, let all the uh, what do they call them? Just, the bugs. Just suck it. <laughs> I can't think right now. Uh, weevils. I mean, weevils, there we go. Flower weevils and stuff, and let them like rise to the co- top of the coffee, and then they would skim off the top of the coffee, and then just drink the coffee and eat the tech. <laughs> I was 20 years old. Uh, yeah. See the weevils, <laughs> man. There's there's more protein. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I don't know. I'll pass on it's, that. It's better, than, it's better than shoe leather, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Maybe. I, don't, I haven't tried, so... I tried making some the other day. I was like, oh, I got all this fucking flour because I, I always have a bunch of flour because, you know, I make pizzas. So I have lots of flour, right, right. Um, both both are all purpose and uh, 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 bread flour. But I use all my all purpose flour because I don't really have a lot of use for that because it's usually bread flour that I use. So I was like, oh, let's make some hard tack. And I tried making it and I was just like, holy fuck. How could anyone eat this? <laughs> it doesn't taste bad. Actually, if you toast it right, it tastes pretty good. 
mm-hmm. you know, as, as good as a cracker can be. But, you, you, but did you age it for 20 years, Jim? No. Maybe, <laughs> maybe no. it's like a bourbon or, you know, scotch. Maybe you just got to age it properly. Yeah. <laughs> let the let the natural, you let, know, funkiness come out. Yeah, let the weevils have at it for a bit. <laughs> The weevils break down the the you know the proteins and, and yeah all yeah, that. yeah it's like uh, new new flavors yeast just, <laughs> really come on man you you don't know how to ferment bread you let weevils have at it for twenty years <laughs> good god man the, uh, hard pass <laughs> but uh, hats off to them hats off to them for uh, you know being able to do that yeah. <laughs> So yeah, uh, we should probably start wrapping this up. Where are we at? Almost an hour. Yeah. So, um, what where, what have you been up to? Is there any, anything that we can follow you on? Are you on Discord yet? Just just the tweeter, man. Just the twatters. Yeah, yeah you've been liking and retweeting all of my stuff. Yeah, I, I don't post much, man. I just jump on and I'm like, okay, this is cool. You know, mm-hmm. that's it. I'm just, I I am on Facebook, uh, not on my phone. Because that's you know Scary. a whole nother level, but there's people that I uh, care about and want to keep in contact with, and that's they're only on that platform. So I, I jump on there on my computer or tablet, and you know it's it's boomer central, but it's still fun. Yeah. So yeah, face I'm on Facebook and uh, on, on the Twitter. Yeah, I just have like uh, if you go to my Facebook, you have to be my friend to see it. Um, but if you're on if you're, if you're on my Facebook. If you go to my page, the thing that's in the very top is like, here's I'm not on Facebook. Uh, here's where how to get a hold of me. Here's my Twitter. Here's my Discord. Mm-hmm. Here's my phone number. Um, if you want to get a hold of me, one of these things will get to me somehow. So just leave a message there. And occasionally, every once in a while, I'll get a message on uh, I don't know Telegram or something. And I'm like, oh hey, how's it going, man? <laughs> I just saw that you're not on Facebook. It's like, yeah, uh, welcome to uh, two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> have you have you listened to the show? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to be fair, a lot a lot of a lot of my real life friends don't listen to my podcast. They're just like oh, Jim and his politics again. Ugh. <sighs> but I'm sure if they actually listen to the show, they're like, oh, it's less political than I expected. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, I used to, when I was younger, I was very much, like, trying to shove my politics into everyone's faces, even though it was not libertarianism back then, it was... Oh, yeah, I was, I was uh, the regret. same way. It was regret. That's that's what my ideology was. <laughs> was it's, when I sh- it's when I share as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now it's a different kind of regret. Right. <laughs> it's called autistic regret. <laughs> the best kind it's like when you say actually and you realize you just said actually and you're like oh damn it damn oh well it. i already started that, <laughs> that, that was me yeah. that is me after about five white claws so <laughs> <laughs> well no 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 see here's the thing like if, if you do drink a lot of white claws and you start breaking all of the laws that you know, said that you can't do this or you can't do that in social group which, hey there are no when there's when you're drinking claws there are no laws just yeah, just hold up the the can as a disclaimer. <laughs> Hello. I still refuse to try that. I still refuse to even taste it. Oh, dude, it's it's the only thing I drink, bro. Not the only thing, but whatever happened to your craft beer obsession? I still I still I still got love for my hazy IPAs, bro. Okay. I I just drank one, but I was like I was getting heavy, bro. I was like two. I got when got a physical. I was like two ten, and just that's. Yeah, for you know, I'm only I'm like five ten, five eleven. I'm not like you know, big tall guy. Anyway, so I'm like fuck. I'm fat, dude. I'm puffy, and uh, I started cutting out a lot of the beer because that's pretty much where all my calories were coming from. You know, you drink like you drink a few hazy IPAs, or there's 700 calories. You know, yeah, in, <laughs> in a night. So yeah. I started like I uh, started drinking the Claw. I started skateboarding again. Um, I, I, I skateboarded you know middle school high school tw- early 20s so and uh, i dropped some weight man and i, I feel good yeah well, so. i should probably get, get a s- skateboard again but As, i don't know when when i did skating i never really did a lot of stuff that required a lot of like exercise i was much mm-hmm. more into like freestyle which is not really a thing yeah. anymore 
but I, I just thought like doing technical stuff was far more interesting than street or vert skating. So, and I was like, I don't care. I just yeah. want to learn how to do like a. So you were like a tech guy. The yeah, yeah, Rodney like Mo- a primo show. Yeah, yeah, like a primo yeah. show. It like that's what I wanted to learn how to do, and I, I yeah landed a couple of them, landed a couple a couple of uh, face plants trying that too, but uh, that goes with the territory, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I was just a straight, straight street skater, man, because I grew up in a small town. There was just nothing to do, so we were just always out skating street and. But uh, now there's skate parks everywhere, man. So I try to like hit one up once a week. I haven't for a few weeks, but or I'll skateboard outside with my son. He rides the scooter around in the afternoon. Hmm. So that's great exercise, man. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah, but I was like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna go on a diet, and then panic at the disco. <laughs> I was like, God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> well, I guess I'll just eat pasta and carbs until all this goes away, and then I'll start dieting. But um, I don't know. Like anytime I drink a beer now, I usually just have it as like a meal. Like I'll have something like a snack or something just to sit at the bottom of my yeah, stomach. Yeah, exactly. Have a beer, and that's dinner. Uh, and that's quite a heavy dinner, but you know it works. Because I, I don't like getting drunk anymore. I just don't like it. I just don't like it. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I, I'm starting to turn into a teetotaler, and, and I'm okay with this. Oh, here we go. Yeah. We, te- uh, <laughs> Libertarian Temperance League coming up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I still enjoy drinking. Like, I, I, I'm just I, – I, Yeah, good. I know. <laughs> I, st- I still enjoy a good beer every once in a while. Uh, I love scotch, right. which that, I guess that's my claws. It was, so claws are low calorie? Like they have low, no sugar or something? Or? Uh, yeah, they're like two carbs, 100 calories. So, oh, okay. Yeah, so imagine yeah, all those just, calories are coming from the alcohol then. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hundred per serving. Yeah, that's that's. A, I think that's what. Uh, I think that's what liquor is. Anyways, so not not too bad. Yeah, I, I like I like having like a little glass of scotch and just enjoying the flavor of it. Not getting not even getting a buzz and just going like, yeah, that was delicious. And yeah, then, and you can appreciate like, it, right? Yeah, and then like some holiday comes around and I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna get drunk, and then I then like in the middle of the process of getting drunk, I'm just like. I forgot. This is not fun. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna stop right. now and just kind of enjoy like a weird buzz that I'm. Yeah, really I just get a little, you know, just get a little buzz, man. Yeah, That's... I don't even like the buzz anymore. I just like just I just like enjoying the thing that I'm drinking. I think this what it well, boils yeah, down to. And you appreciate it more. Yeah. you know what I mean. Like when I have a good IPA or or yeah, you know, a stout or something. It's like instead of just like ah, this is just what I drink, uh, you know, three nights a week, four nights a week. Now it's like oh. One night a week or whatever, I can really appreciate it more. Yeah. So, something to look forward to. Yeah, and I don't smoke weed. Um, haven't touched psychedelics in quite a while. Very long time. I mean, I've never done it. <clears throat> oh. Is the NSA still open? I don't even know anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Shut it. Oh, they're, yeah, they're, yeah. Oh, they're all, are they all out drinking delicious, delicious no, mo, Modelo, too? <laughs> Negro, please. Negro, please. Negro, please. Um, we we can only we can only hope, right? Yeah. So where where can where can we find you if we want to stalk you? Twitter, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Facebook. I'll put links in there. Yeah, yeah. That's, got, a, that's about it, man. Yeah, you gonna start any more projects? No, no more podcasts. No, no more ZGY. <sighs> Dude, I uh, I love podcasting, man. This has been fun. I just I'm so devoted to like learning the craft of writing. Um, that that's kind of what I'm focused on, man. Is reading, studying, writing as much as I can. So, um, yeah, if I if I could find somebody to like edit my po- and post my podcast and do all that, I, I'll 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 do one every week. <laughs> edit. Who needs editing? Well, yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of. I told you I was kind of autistic, man. I I edit. I go through it, man. I'm like, you know, I want it to be good. You know, the finished product. So, but well, yeah, if, if Joe Rogan a, doesn't have to edit his podcast, neither do I, and I'm I'm less of a professional than he is. So, yeah, well, his podcasts aren't three hours long either. <laughs> well, we can, and you're not you're not a Bernie bro. <laughs> <laughs> I can be. I don't want to, but I can be. <laughs> yeah, 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 depends on how that, much he wants to pay me. I mean, it right? looks like he's pretty desperate at this point. <laughs> oh god, how much you want to pay me to be a Bernie bro, Bernie? Yeah, you know what's you it worth to you? you? How much is it worth to you? <laughs> money, to- money, uh, money talks. Man. Yeah, money bullshit talks. walks. <laughs> uh, by the way, I need to point out that uh, 
Jason, uh, what was his name? <laughs> I only interviewed the guy, and <laughs> he was in. Oh, Dan Behrman, yeah, was, Dan Taxation to Steph Behrman did not pay me to get on the podcast. I was just like, <laughs> press secretary reached out to me and was like, "Hey, do you want to have him on?" And I was like, "Fuck yeah, <laughs> I want yeah. to. I want to. I just want to talk to the guy." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, like, was, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a great episode, man. Yeah, yeah, good stuff. Oh, I don't think I'm going to get have Jason Hornberger on. I'm just, I'm just too lazy to reach out to <laughs> people, but. Right. It's not like he's doing anything right now, anyway. Um, nope. I, you know, I, we might be getting a couple new Lulbert uh, co-hosts coming on soon. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try to work some something out with one of them. Just needs better audio. Yeah, and once he gets better audio, <clears throat> I'm gonna sh- tell him to get a new mic. Uh, once once he gets better audio, um, we'll we'll try him out. Uh, and another one I haven't even asked yet, but I'm gonna be like, hey, yeah. <laughs> hey. A, a man from the inside of the LP. Um, hey. Ooh. Who uh, isn't the- just uh, taking off his clothes? Not to say that's a, that's a bad thing at the LP. Nah, I'm just saying. Got love for you, James. So, so, someone <laughs> a little bit more serious about the LP than James. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. So we'll have him on, and uh, we'll do the thing. Yeah. So. Uh, right on. So Look until next time, make sure to tell your your waitress, uh, Negra, please, and uh, yeah, worms. <laughs> Worms.